Hello everyone, welcome back to Command and Conquer and welcome back to GDI Mission 5. Now you might ask yourself, didn't we already play the two German versions of Mission 5? And yes we did, but the thing is, if you play Mission 4 or one of the two Mission 4s in Poland, uh, not takes over all of Germany and loses Poland and then you get these two missions here but if you take the mission in Belarus then as you can see they keep most of Poland take only over a part of Germany and you get these two missions in the Ukraine so that's why we have two more mission five so let's take on this one here it's a lie all of it GDI wouldn't slaughter children. Was Bialystok a Tiberium Center? Isn't this another incident of GDI reacting to incorrect information? Any comment? Should GDI funding be cut? Nod forces severely damaged GDI base in your area. Critical shortage of weapons and manpower. Find GDI base and return it to operational status. So here we go, and as you can see, this is another variant of this mission here, and, <laughs> and we run into a tank straight away. So yeah, they, they give you a lot of replay value here, even though you play similar missions, it's not like you. it's always exactly the same. So you can play this game a couple of times and have yeah, quite a different experience. So yeah, let's go... Oh, <laughs> I'm I think I'm just going to avoid that tank for now. So. Kill this rock guy here. Let's try to find my base. Ah, there we go. So that was relatively easy. So let's take on this tank here. Um, you please kill this buggy here and you kill this guy here. So let's sell this silo. Only get one silo on this mission. And you please harvest some type barrier and you all go back to base. And you please defend my... not my radar dish. Yeah, that went bad. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, the radar dish is useful, but it's not totally critical. Anyway, let's build more Humvees. Let's take these guys here. And let's build even more Humvees. And they're already coming with infantry. But I'm ready for you. And now they decided to... Okay, please make up your mind and don't attack my harvester. Don't even dare. There's, there's a mod harvester pretty much straight away here. I can kind of imagine those two harvesters meeting on a Tiberium field, but they don't have any weapons, so they can just 
just eye one another and be like, this is my Tiberium. Yeah, as you can see in this, this game, a couple of units still look the same, like the, the ooh, looks like a fountain, not based. Like the basic infantry all looks exactly the same. They even have the same unit icons, so um, here the not units, they, they don't have this like cultist super aggressive look they get in later games. They still look the same, so which probably makes sense because in this game not is it's kind of more like a paramilitary. And it's pretty well organized and well funded, but it's not not quite what it is in later games. So, those even more Humvees. And these not units really can't decide where they want to go, can they? Yeah, whatever. I'll kill you one once you actually decide to come over here. Which I guess you don't, buggy. So, here we go. Oh, finally. Here we go. Oh, please let me kill you. And let's explore this Tiberium field here. And there's a more tank. Well, that's that came to nobody's surprise. That's quite a lot of infantry. Um, this, there's another Tiberium field guarded by another not buggy. And maybe let's go here. More Tiberium. Let's check. Ooh, that's a lot of infantry. Don't want those close to my. Yep, yeah, and half of them squished. That's why I like APCs. They are uh, more expensive than the Humvee, obviously, but they're also way more efficient. And I think they are even better at killing infantry. Not not only by squishing them, but also with their normal gun. Even though you would think that them being just a transporter, they're not that good, but apparently they are. It seems not as quite aggressive again. Maybe in the first mission there was an issue with the AI or they were just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> just not caring, I don't know. So, here we go. Looks like we have consolidated our position. So let's explore a little bit more. There's a cute little pond here. Let's destroy this Nord tank while we're at it because, as usual, we'll have to do it sooner or later anyway. Um, but we do have enough armies to overpower them. And I might actually have to use this Tiberium field here, so might as well dispose of that Humvee. That's not buggy, not a problem. If it if it didn't run away. These guys they're actually going north for once, that's nice because it makes it easier for me to intercept them. And where are you heading? That tank is long dead. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, it looks like it's pretty much the entire map. Um, there's GDI guy here, so let's just send him back to base. Let's also dispose of it's not buggy here. Yeah, thankfully these the zombies are pretty fast. Otherwise, the pathfinding would make maneuvering them a little bit more exhaustive. So, and I wonder whether there's a money crate on this map. There should be. At least there has been one on the other map, so... Whoa, what, what was that? Was that a not unit? I think it was. So... Let's explore this area here. Okay. Mm, let's go for the harvester. And let's see what they sent at us. Some tanks. It's not too bad. Yeah, maybe they already ran out of stuff. Ooh, that's actually a lot of infantry. Where are you going, not Harvester? That is a lot of guys. I think I can deal with that. Yeah, that Harvester is going to die. No two ways about it. I don't care about my Humvees. So let's gang up on this tank here. Come on, and let these infantry run into my Humvee, which is actually kind of a decent strategy. But now I have to take on the rocket guys. And this went 
reasonably well. And where's your gun card pointing? Do well, you want to attack my base? Well, go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Now you're dead. That's what we get for messing with GDI. So... Yes, as you have noticed... Well, not in this mission, because here not has tanks and we don't. But generally, not theme is to have lighter units. They have that light tank, whereas I have that medium tank. But generally... GDI is more elite, they have fewer units, like story-wise, they're usually outnumbered. But those they have are more elite, where not is like going more for mass. Not really... Yeah, so, I mean, they are kind of... How do you say that? So, not really the underdogs, but usually the good guys are kind of the guys who don't go for quantity, but... Uh, sorry, for... who don't... how to explain... Ah, never mind. Should stop babbling. Maybe start killing these gun turrets. Once I brought in my tanks, because I could probably use those and all my infantry. Yeah, let's let's just attack with everything I have. Because I don't think they can build house stars, or if they can, they don't seem to do it. Here we go. Everybody gang up on those turrets. And now uh, where's that? Yeah, where's that barracks? I knew they were bu building more guys. They're always also building more guys, and it's always rocket guys. There we go. So that's destroy their construction yard right away. By the way, the AI only build rebuild structures on spots where they were before. So while my units are standing here, they're not going to rebuild their their barracks here. And yeah, the AI doesn't really have a build AI here, they only will build structures exactly where they have been. So if you place a multiplayer match, then the AI uh, won't really do anything. They won't build bases. They will have units, but they won't build bases. And unless you modify the game, you, can, you can't really have AI, really like a standard skirmish match like you have in Red Alert 2, where you fight the computer. You can enable that but the computer will only have units not bases so you can have the AI multiplayer match but even then they won't have bases so all those modes are really only for human versus human yeah and looks like we got this it wasn't too bad still easier than the second version of this mission i like how close these bases are together really <laughs> like a hundred meters away from one another i think so it looks like not had time to build this base, but I didn't finish the job of destroying the GI base, but what am I talking about? This is just a video game. Okay, that was GDI Mission 5, the third version of it. And there's still one version left, so we aren't done yet, but I think no mission has more than four variants, so this should kind of be an exception. And there actually means to destroy a building for once, namely my radar building, but it still looks like this mission was more successful than the last one, because at least I got a higher score, or one that's yeah, six points higher. I guess that's awesome. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.